Good afternoon YouTube, x 2708 back again with another video. As you can tell from the thumbnail and from the um, change of background, we have an Xbox 360 video. So long overdue, um, primarily charity shops at the minute. I mean my numbers for Xbox 360 stand in I think between 250 and 300 at the minute so it's few and far between um, when we're out and about uh, looking at the local charity shops that I'm stumbling across titles A that I haven't got in the collection and B that I actually want in the collection so not really looking at um, or certainly not going for a full set um, so I'm only cherry picking the titles that I want in the collection and ones that at some point um, down the line, short term or long term, I'll, uh, I'll sit down and play. So, like I say, slim pickings really for charity shops. For both Xbox 360 and Xbox One physical media that I haven't already got. Um, and CX as well. Um, prices in there, if you're a 360 collector you'll know um, over the last few months, really, prices on the majority of 360 titles are starting to skyrocket. Um, I think when I last looked, the likes of um, Lollipop Chainsaw and Splatterhouse, I think they're one, one of them's £42 at the minute, the other one's approaching £60, so... Um, even titles a few months ago that were around the £2 mark, they're going up now to around £6 to £8. So um, it's few and far between that I'm picking anything up from CX with regards to 360. Um, but I have got a little pile here um, along with a nice random pile that I have no idea what's actually in there. It was a gift from my good friend James. Um, when he came over last week to do the From Horror to Hollywood first episode. So uh, many thanks to everybody that um, that watched that first episode uh, with myself and James. So it was a really good one to, um, to record and it was really nice to hear all the positive uh, feedback from everybody um, in the community that, um, that sat and watched it. So... Uh, we are planning on doing episode two, um, probably Tuesday evening. Um, we we have we, we need to have a bit of a, a test either today or tomorrow because it is one we're going to be doing across um, Streamyard, I think it's called. Um, as James isn't able to um, get across too easily this coming week, um, so fingers crossed we'll be recording that episode Tuesday evening, and uh, that will be uploaded tea time on Wednesday probably. So I have some Xbox 360 physical media as well as an accessory. I'll show you the accessory first guys so get the uh, big ass item out of the way and something I've wanted for here in the games room for quite some time now. Me and the girlfriend were out um, in one of the local towns uh, tail end of last week um, and it was um, on one of the shelves in the local cash generators. So, in fact, not cash generators, cash converters. I always get the two mixed up. But it is, there we go, the USB Xbox Lite. So, always see this up on um, Pixel Pools um, games room in the background. Always what I've wanted, but it hovers around... Um, I think the 15 to 20 pound mark normally um, and I struck it lucky in cash converters £6.99 so grabbed myself a cheap micro USB cable from Poundland princely sum of £1.50 I know £1.50 in Poundland for what should be a £1 item never mind <laughs> but yeah picked that up from Poundland when I was out with Ghost Lou yesterday um, and yeah, really happy to 
add that one into the collection like I say pixel Paul if you haven't seen um, his channel uh, great gaming channel really nice down-to-earth guy always enjoy watching his content um, and I will leave a, a link to his channel in the description so there we go there's the uh, the Xbox USB light I just need to sus somewhere here um, in the games room I might put it on the um, the Xbox one shelf um, in the corner over there so we'll, we'll see where it sits so there we go that's that one right next up nothing amazing um, 360 title wise um, I'm hoping this random pile that I haven't looked at yet from James will come up trumps with a couple of gems so we'll see how that goes um, but these primarily were again cash converters um, and I think they all range from 50 pence up to two pound so like I say nothing amazing but they were titles that I've got an interest in and I didn't have in the collection so I grabbed them so first one guys Destiny so one I never played when it came out I know it had a bit of a um, a cult following similar to um, the the Halo um, titles but um, yeah what I never played so first person shooter uh, do like my Call of Duties and the likes um, so yeah looking forward to getting this one installed and uh, seeing how it plays so still need to um, grab myself most of the Halo titles as well I think I've only got either what was it I think it's Halo Reach I've got down there but I haven't picked the other ones up yet so again I'm going to grab those they're all cheap as chips so grab those uh, where I see them out and about in the wild but for now we have Destiny next up Resident Evil 5 so again I've got a few of them on Xbox One already I think on Xbox 360 I've only got Resident Evil 6 at the minute so I've got a, um, a few other ones to um, to track down and add into the collection but this was $1.99 in the local cash converters and it was nice and complete as well so would have been rude not to add that one into the collection. Next up do like my sports titles as you know one of those you can um, you know pop on of an evening um switch your brain off grab a few achievements or if i'm up here in the games room and i'm editing a a youtube video together um like i did with mine and james's uh, first episode last week then while that's all processing and you know there's nothing else i can do apart from sit and wait the hour to two hours for it to um export etc then i can put the 360 on that uh, that I've got up here and um, and sit and play some 360 games so um, this one NBA 2k7 so I've got a few of them already um, I think I oh, know it's not on the shelf down there I've got the NHL titles and a NFL and a couple of FIFA's but I haven't dug the uh, the NBA but I have got a couple of the NBA titles already but I didn't have um, 2k7 as yet so that was 99 pence and again was a nice and complete a Rooney so I don't mind the basketball games you know I did um, grab what was it NBA Jam I think they did on the 360 on um, did they do it on physical can't remember if they did it on physical. I know I grabbed it in the sales on um, digital. Um, but yeah, always enjoy that one. Obviously more of a arcade feel to it rather than the simulation that you get with these 2K titles. But, you know, I don't mind putting them on. And again, there'll probably be some um, easy achievements that uh, I can chip away and get some, uh, some more gamer score for. So particularly proud of myself last month. I got, I think, four and a half thousand gamer score which is probably one of my um my highest months so i've been back playing um the um some of the original um call of duty titles that 
I'd completed on Xbox One, but I hadn't completed on 360. So currently playing through Advanced Warfare and Modern Warfare 3. Absolutely loving um, the Advanced Warfare story again. Um, what's his name? Is it Jonathan Irons? Um, Kevin Spacey's character that, um, you know, no no spoilers, but um, yeah, the um, turns against the uh, the corporation. So really enjoying that one again. And it looks stunning on Xbox 360. Playing it downstairs on, um, you know, the big 55-inch um, TV. Um, and it, it, it it's like watching a movie. It You know, the um, cinematics on it and that are absolutely superb. So really enjoying that one again. Right, next one, I've got the first one of these. Um, this is number three, and again, it was 99 pence. So, Dead Space 3. So, I've got the first one on the shelf down there. Haven't got the second one back physical, but I do um, own all three digitally on um, on the console downstairs. So, um, again, looking forward to uh, playing these three through. There we go, nearly a tongue twister. Um, in um, chronological order that uh, that they came out. So there we go, Dead Space 3, 99 pence. And again, this is complete. Not that there's a decent chunky manual in it, but piece of paper with a download code, that's about as good as you get with a lot of uh, 360 titles. But for 99 pence, it was a, a no-brainer. So that's that one. Right. Next up, some FIFA titles. So, again, cheap as chips. I think I've got 13, 14, and 16 down there. Um, so, I was on a bit of a mission last week uh, to chip away at some of the ones uh, before uh, those numbers that I hadn't got, and again, play them through and um, get a bunch of achievements. So, um, all right, let's do. So first of all, with um, was it Rooney and uh, Ronaldinho on the front? FIFA seven, ninety nine pence, and again, that one was nice and complete. So I think FIFA oh seven was the uh, first one. I think not hundred percent sure that came out on. Um, 360 um can i read the tiny writing with no glasses on i can't but i've got a feeling it was the uh the first one that came out so fifa 07 and then again wayne rooney and ronaldinho on the front fifa 08 99p so do enjoy my football. Uh, thoroughly enjoying watching the uh, the Euros at the minute. So um, yeah, really enjoyed um, England's penalty shootout last night and uh, progression through um, to the semi-finals, which I think is uh, next Sunday. So that's um, scratching my itch at the minute until uh, the Championship season starts again um, mid-August. It is so. Uh, anyway. There you go, Manuel and uh, Disc. It says at the bottom there, what is it? Skill moves guide included. Okay, there we go. So FIFA 08. Again, Rooney and Ronaldinho. Was there no other players in three years that they could have put in the boxes? FIFA 09. There we go, 50 pence this one. So, I don't know if that's the right way up my um, reverse camera. Can't always tell, but yeah, you get the gist. 50 bents anyway. Um, and again, that was nice and complete. Um, haven't got FIFA tenors yet, but I managed to grab FIFA 11. So this was a charity shop grab for 50 pence. So who's on that one? Rooney again. And I have no idea. Go slow would tell me straight away. Let me know in the comments who that one is. So there we go. 
And again, nice and complete. So after FIFA 11, then we had to have FIFA 12. So uh, Wayne Rooney again, bloody hell, he gets around. And um, what's his name? Jack Wilshere from Arsenal. So there you go. FIFA 12, that was £1.49. So I grabbed that one when me and Ghost Lou were over in Middlesbrough yesterday from um, Super Games World. So we popped in another a catch up with Nazanibi. And uh, I saw this one on the. Uh, the shelf, so for £1.49, it was one that I needed. I don't think there was a manual. No, there's a download code. And the disc. So, there we go. FIFA 12. And I've got, what have I got down there? 13, 14, and 15 I picked up again. Super Games World yesterday. Uh, one ninety nine. So there we go. And on the front there we have um, Messi and Eden Hazard. I think it's Hazard, isn't it? Chelsea. Yeah, looks like Hazard. So there we go. But yeah, FIFA fifteen one ninety nine. Again, no Manuel, but I'm not OCD. As long as I've got it um, boxed with the game. So. There we go, but yeah, I'll keep chipping away at these and uh, grabbing the achievements. So, FIFA-wise, that leaves me with FIFA 10 to get, which I think is a nice, um, nice cheap one. Um, and then FIFA, what's that one? 15, six, I've got 16 down there. So FIFA 17, 18 and 19. 17 is around the £6 mark, I think it is in CEX, but I'm hoping it'll be one I stumble across in a local charity shop. FIFA 19, it's either, I think I think it's up to about £38 now, because it came out right at the end of um, the 360s um, life cycle, after the Xbox One had come out, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a, a pricey one to get, but again... I'm not going to pay silly money for it. If I strike it lucky, then I will do. But I'm certainly, you know, not paying probably. And I'm, I probably won't end up getting it because I refuse to pay more than probably a tenner for it, to be fair. And if it's, um, you know, up to the likes of nearly £40 in CEX currently, the way 360 titles are going, it's, you know, just it's, it's going to keep going up. So... Um, right, two more Xbox 360 titles. These were ones that um, James put to one side for me in the local uh, cash generators. Uh, so again, another FIFA title. So you can tell I like my football. So FIFA Street. Again, messy on the front there. So not too sure which year. This one was when I looked on CX, I couldn't actually see this particular FIFA Street. There was a couple with the um, the year of the release in the title, but I couldn't see this particular one. So if anyone knows which version this is, maybe it's an alternate cover or something. I don't know. But uh, as you can see, that was just a pound. And it's sellotape, so I can't show you, but it may or may not have a manual in. So there we go. FIFA Street. And then the last one, guys, uh, did enjoy this one, actually. I think it came out, um, oh, did it? Hang on a second. This might be completely different. Um, I thought this came out as DLC for one of the Forza titles, um, but it doesn't have any reference to fours are on the front so it might be um an individual game in its own right so yeah let me know in the comments if you know anything about this one so fast and furious showdown so like i say i'm sure i had a a fast and furious dlc as part of one of the um the forza games that i've been playing maybe the forza horizon i can't remember now but yeah not too sure, but yeah, looks decent 
from the back of the box. So, and again, oh, my nose, bloody hay fever again. <laughs> right, there we go. So, one English pound. Right. Finally, this is going to take a little bit to get through. Hopefully, I don't drop all of these on the floor. Right, James came over last week, like I said, to record this um, episode that, uh, or this first episode of a new series we've started recording. Um, and he brought me through a big pile of loose Xbox games. Now, I deliberately haven't looked what was in here. I saw the very top title um, on the, you know, it was on the top of the pile that he passed across to me, but I've deliberately not looked through any of the other ones. So I've no idea how many there is. There might be 30, 40 shitty sports titles. I have no idea. There might be some gems as well. Um, James basically said these were being chucked out at his um, um, cash generator store that he works in. Um, and knowing that I'm a collector for 360, he said to his uh, to his boss, do you mind if I grab those uh, for my mate if you're just going to chuck them out? And he said, yep, no problem. Take them away. So we have a huge stack, maybe Xbox One in there, no idea. Um, but I thought I'd just go through each one and, you know, share with you what they are. So, the first title. Ooh, okay. There you go. Assassin's Creed uh, 4 Black Flag. So, not too sure how many of these I'll need um, in the collection, but quite happy to have them loose so I can get them installed. Uh, on the Xbox if they're titles that I am interested in. Um, and again, chip away at some achievements. So there we go, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Next one on the pile. Ooh, okay. Sega Superstars Tennis. So do like uh, the old tennis games on the 360. So again, can't remember if I've got that one or not. But say these haven't cost me a penny, so. Oh God. Then we we have Farming Simulator. So definitely a game I haven't picked up, so no idea if there's some um, easy achievements for those or not. So there we go, Farming Simulator. Might be one Ghost Lose interested in, he likes all those obscure ones. Uh, next one, ooh, okay. UFC 2009. So again, I know Ghost Lou enjoys his, um, his UFC games. I, I enjoy watching it on the telly, but I can't play these games for uh, for the life of me with my um, disability. It's similar to like a, a severe arthritis. Um, so, you know, button bashing, fighting games like this. I can only play for about a minute, a minute and a half, and it cramps my hands up, and uh, I'm knackered then. <laughs> so, but yeah, might um, get that one installed. Let Ghost Lou have a play through on uh, on my account and get me some achievements. So he's nice like that. So there we go. UFC 2009. Ooh, definitely one I haven't got. Hour of Victory. So I think this was a. a First person, maybe World War One shooter. So, got a feeling I looked at picking this one up from a. No, it wasn't a charity shop. It might have been cash, cash converters yesterday um, with Ghost Loop, but it was uh, it was it was a few pound, and you know I, I refused to pay silly money for um, the majority of three sixty titles. So there we go. It means I can actually play the game now. So there we go. Hour of Victory. Oh, okay. Definitely one I haven't got. Clash of the Titans. So, there we go. That's that one. No idea what sort of game it is. If it's, uh, if it's one any of you have played, let me know in the comments if it's any good. Oh, 
God. Vin Diesel Wheelman. I've got a feeling I used to have this one originally um, on 360, and it's one I've stayed clear of. I think I've seen people review it um, recently that are into 360, and it's, it's supposed to be a terrible game. But I will have a look and see if there's any uh, quick and easy achievements for, um, for my sins. But yeah, definitely one uh, that will probably <laughs> sit and gather dust. So there we go. Wheelman. Oh, excellent. Now that says disc two. So is that disc one? Oh, I don't know. Right, there's only one disc in this one, but I've got a feeling I've got this particular title already. L.A. Noir. So again, another one that reviews really well. Um, I think, again, I had it on 360 originally, um, and it's one that I want to install and uh, play all the way through again. So yeah, looking forward to that one. Next one, Skyrim. So I know many people that have lost countless hours to this one. I'm currently playing through um, Fallout 4 at the moment. And I know that's another one you can disappear down the, uh, the rabbit hole with. So uh, I'm enjoying that one. Not necessarily as much with Skyrim, but again, I think that's one that Ghost Lose played previously, so it may uh, may be one that uh, that he puts on and plays through. Next up, Tom Clancy's End War. So I'm not sure if I've got End War in the collection already. Um, not hundred percent sure. I know I've picked up a few of the Tom Clancy titles, but I don't remember picking up End War yet. So. There we go, that'll be one to have a look at. Next up, one I've definitely got, Call of Duty Ghosts. So there we go, it's a, a double disc at. Right, let's just make sure that it is Ghosts in there. Yeah, and it wasn't another title. So yeah, two disc at, Call of Duty Ghosts. And then... Another one I think I've already got, Gears of War 2. But yeah, I definitely need to um, play through the Gears of War franchise. So one of those similar to Halo that I have never played at all. Um, obviously Xbox exclusives um, that I know have got a massive cult following. Um, so yeah, definitely a series that I need to uh, put some time into. So yeah, Gears of War 2. Okay, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So, not too sure which Assassin's Creed titles I've got down there. I've, I've probably got four or five already. Brotherhood doesn't ring a bell, so that might be one that I do need. Um, ooh, I don't think I've got this one. Army of Two, and this is... What does that say? Army of Two, and then Small Writing, 40 Day. So I think they did two Army of Two games in the franchise. So uh, I don't think I've got either of them yet. So that's one that, it, uh, that I need, so Army of Two. Another Assassin's Creed title, which I'm not sure if I've got. So Assassin's Creed Revelations. Two discs in that one. Uh, oh, okay, there you go. So the other disc that's in there. There you go, the soundtrack. So, awesome. Can't beat a good uh, gaming soundtrack. So, yeah, Revelations. Oh, God. A connect title next, and it will definitely not be getting played. Active 2. So, there we go. Struggled to get out of bed some morning, so Active 2 ain't um, coming near my console anytime soon. So, there we go. Active 2. Another copy of Revelations. Oh, another Tom Clancy title, which I don't think I've got yet. 
Rainbow Six Vegas. Awesome. Oh, there you go. One for uh, for Ghost Lou at some point. He's getting into his uh, Guitar Hero games at the minute. So we have DJ Hero. So obviously no good, I don't think. I don't think it's one you can play on the controller. I think you need the, uh, the decks for it. But yeah, Ghost Lou's going through a phase of... Um, Enjoying that Guitar Hero games at the minute. So there we go, DJ Hero. And we have Gears of War 2. So now we've got Gears of War 3. So I think I've got that one. I'm not 100% sure, so I will double check. Another copy, and this is two discs in this one. I think the one I showed before only had one in. But there we go, Black Flag. Oh, okay, one I haven't got. Not too sure if it's my sort of game or not. We have the Golden Compass. So, don't know if that's a adventure type game, potentially. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if, it, if it's one you have played. Let me know what it's like. So, Golden Compass. Oh, there we go. I said I'd already got Halo Reach, I think it was. Uh, so, now... I have the two disc edition of Halo 4. So, yep, yeah, chuff with that one. So, there we go, Halo 4. Uh, one I think I've got, Ghost Lou was on about this one yesterday when um, I think we saw it in one of the um, local CEXs over in Middlesbrough. But it is one I think I've already got, and it is uh, Sleeping Dogs. So, kind of um, Yakuza. Um, so GTA in uh, like a Chinatown environment. So brilliant game if you've never played it. So Sleeping Dogs. Oh, there we go. One that I've got over there on my uh, pile that I'm playing through at the minute. PDC Darts with old uh, Phil the Power Taylor on. So um, again, I'm playing through the darts ones at the minute, trying to get the achievements for a 170 finish and a, a triple bullseye that's another achievement on there you got to go 50 50 50 to finish um a few like that they're absolutely doing my head in but i'm determined to um to to get the trophies unlocked for them so yeah there you go spare copy of pdc dance when i throw my other one against the wall in uh, in frustration so there we go pdc dance um, one that I haven't got, and again, let me know in the comments if um, you know anything about this one, guys. Defiance. So, that's that one. And again, another one that I haven't got. Um, Lord of the Rings, The Battle of Middle-Earth 2. So, there we go. It's that one. Oh, there you go. Talking of FIFAs, FIFA 12. So, oh, it'd be great, wouldn't it, if I could get a 16, 17, no, not 16, 17, 18 or 19 in this pile. It ain't going to happen. I'm not that lucky, so. Uh, right, we've got three more left, guys, and then uh, I shall leave you to your days. There you go, FIFA 09. Again, got that one. Uh, one that I haven't got, and again, no idea about it, so let me know in the comments. Singularity. No idea anything about that one at all. No, I can't even tell from the dislabel, so yeah. Again, any fans of this one, let me know in the comments. And then the last one to finish the pile off, guys. Oh, there you go. Guitar Hero, two disc for Xbox 360. So there you go. Again, another one that uh, Ghost Law will be pinching to have a playthrough. So, yeah, really good um, stack of free Xbox 360. Loose titles. So many thanks to James for, uh, for dropping those across. Very much appreciated, matey. So... Decent number of titles there that I haven't played before that I've not got in the collection as yet. So be nice to get some of those installed and um, start playing through a few of them. So 
there we go guys that's my xbox 360 video for today like i say apologies it's a it's a long overdue one but as i say um slim pickings out there at the minute you know without resorting to the likes of um ordering titles online and you know cherry picking at those i, I am kind of relying on uh, out and about at charity shops and uh, stumbling across the odd ones that uh, that i need but um yeah i've promised um was it eversham gamer so big uh, fan of his channel really enjoying his content at the minute did promise him um as he's a fellow xbox 360 collector uh did promise him i'd do a top five uh, xbox 360 titles uh, that i've got in my collection currently um so i've got four of them physical uh, the fifth one I've got downstairs um, on the Xbox digitally, uh, but I haven't picked it up on physical media as yet. So I'm kind of holding off doing that video at the minute until I've got it physical and I can show it on the video. Um, so that's, fingers crossed, incoming very shortly. Um, and I am also going to look to mix things up a bit. I know not everybody's a fan of... Um, of movie pickups and all the the movie stuff that i'm putting up of late but you know more often than not that's what my time's going into at the minute but i am going to look to do some um xbox 360 gameplay videos um coming up as well so um yeah if you've seen anything that i'm showing on these xbox 360 uh videos that's tickled your pickle or you'd like to see a bit more um footage of then let me know in the comments and i'll, I'll put them on the list for uh, for a gameplay here on the channel there we go guys as always please remember to like comment and subscribe i uh, hope you're all having yourselves a good weekend and I'll, I'll be back later on in the week with another video bye for now